how you can auto scale applications with Keda and use uh, fallback feature. So uh, let's say that we have an application that is consuming messages from Kafka Broker and Keda successfully scales this application based on the metrics from the Kafka Broker. But what if we are not able to connect to the Kafka Broker from Keda? There is some outage or something like that. In this case, we would like to scale our application to some, uh, to some reasonable amount of replicas. And to do that, uh, and to achieve that, uh, we, we can use fallback feature. Uh, so let's take a look at the Keda documentation. Here we can see the fallback section. And as you can see, there are, uh, there are two fields. One is the threshold. So basically, this is the number of, of errors that are reported reported uh, from the from the service, in, the, in our case, from the Kafka broker. So if there are three uh, errors reported, the application will be scaled to six replicas. OK, so back to our example. So let's deploy this setup and introduce some, some problem in, in the connection. I have already uh, created a Kafka broker with MQ streams operator on my OpenShift cluster. And I have created a Kafka topic, my topic. Now we can uh, deploy the Kafka consumer application, very simple application that consumes messages. Uh, so we can deploy this application. So I will uh, deploy this application. And uh, we can we can watch the logs of this application. So we can see that the application is starting. So it has been started. And just to double check that it is able to consume messages, uh, we will produce some produce some load, produce some messages to the Kafka topic. So to do that, uh, we will use this uh, Kubernetes job that produce images to this uh, to this Kafka broker. It will send 15 messages. So let me create this. Kubernetes job, job has been created, and uh, in, a, in a few seconds we should see the messages consumed by the Kafka consumer. Okay, we can see 15 messages have been consumed, that's good. All right, and now we would like to auto scale this application and define, define the fallback. To do that, we use the scaled object a well-known Keda skill object to reference our deployment with our application, use Kafka figure. This is all, uh, all as usual. Uh, the only new thing is the fallback section, as I described already in the documentation. Let's say that if there are three errors reported, uh, let's scale to two replicas. As we can see, uh, the application will be scaled from zero to five by default, if there are errors, to two replicas. So let me actually deploy uh, this scaled object with fallback. And uh, let's watch the number of deployments. We can see that the deployment of our Kafka consumer has been already scaled down to zero replicas because there is there is no load. So let's produce produce some load again. Uh, this time we will produce some higher number of messages. So 150. And once we are once we start producing the images, uh, the messages, uh, I will introduce some problems in our setup. So the easiest solution is to delete the Kafka topic and the Kafka broker definition from the from the MQ streams operator, so this will cause that the Kafka broker will be uh, unreachable. To do that, I have uh, these two resources, which de basically de uh, describes the Kafka, Kafka cluster and Kafka topic, and I will delete them both. So uh, let's let's create some load and let's delete the uh, the, the topic and Kafka. Once, once we scale out.
in a few seconds we should see okay the number of replicas has been already increased to one and we should see probably higher number maybe no but let's let's delete the topic so i'll delete the top topic and i will delete the, the kafka instance and uh, let me actually watch the scaled object We can see that the, because the cluster is being deleting at the moment, so uh, we can see that Codesumer has been able to consume messages. But as you can see in here, there has been already reported some problems in the uh, in the Kafka broker because we deleted the topic and the Kafka server. So the fallback status changed uh, has been changed to true, which means that at the moment uh, we. Uh, we scaled our application to the fallback uh, replicas num to the fallback replicas count. So in this case, it is two. So we can see that there are two, two replicas running uh, of of this consumer application. In this specific case, because uh, the Kafka consumer relies heavily on the on the Kafka broker, uh, we can see that the status is not fully ready. But in other scenarios, in other setups, uh, it will be like fully fully available. So uh, as you can see, as you can see, the fallback is working as usual. If we create again the Kafka, Kafka broker and Kafka topic, uh, the application will be again scaled to to the optimal number of replicas. Thank you for your time.